Hey, Sinseb here, and today I'm going to show you how to get Minecraft on your Steam Deck, and later I'll show you how to add it to your Steam library as a non-Steam game, and how to set up the controls. The first thing we're going to do is head over to the desktop mode on our Steam Deck and open up Discover. Now in the search tab, if we hit Steam and X, we'll open our keyboard, and we're going to look up Prism Launcher, and hit Enter. And it will be this one, which should be the only option, Prism Launcher. And we're going to open it up. Now, once it opens, we'll hit the install button. I already have it, so I'm just going to hit launch. And here's our launcher. So the first thing we have to do is up here in the top right, we're going to manage accounts. And whichever account you have associated with Minecraft, whether it's Microsoft or Mojang, we're going to have to sign in with that account. So for example, if it was Microsoft, we would hit add Microsoft. And then in this dialog box, we could go to that link or just hit open page and copy code. And here we would enter that code and then sign in. I'm already signed in, so I'm going to close out of this. Now, if we want to add an instance of Minecraft, we're going to go up here to where it says add instance. And in terms of the version, I'm just going to select the latest one. And up here in the name field, I'm just going to name it new. And then we can hit OK down here. Now we have our instance and if we want to add mods and that sort of thing, we're going to go over to edit. And here where we are at version, I'm going to install fabric. This is to download mods for fabric and we're going to need this for midnight controls, which is what we're going to use for our controller layout. So I'm going to do the latest one, hit OK. And then in mods, I'm going to hit download mods. This is how you'll get mods. And up here in Modrinth, I'm going to select the first one. It's going to be Fabric API. And version selected, we want the latest as well. And we'll do Select Mod for Download, Review, and Confirm. And then we'll hit OK. It'll download, and then it'll show up right here. Now I'm going to go back to Download Mods. And I'm going to search up Midnight Controls. And there it is, the first one. And again, version selected, we'll do the latest, which it should be already selected. Select mod for download, review and confirm. Okay. So now we have what we need to play the game with our controller layout. We're gonna close out of here. I'm gonna launch this new instance we just created and I'm going to show you how to set up your controller. All right, so I have the game loaded up. It's just a window right now. Uh, we'll hit continue here. And we're gonna go into our options. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to resource packs right here. And we're going to click on midnight controls slash legacy. And we're going to click this arrow to move it over to our selected resource packs and hit done. Now, if we go over to this button up here and we go over to midnight controls, advanced config, it'll take us to our controller settings here. And if we go over to visual, we can change the controller type. If you click on it, we can change it over to Steam Deck. And then hit done. And I'll hit done and get out of here. And now I'll load up the game. Now I'm loaded into the game. Of course, again, we're just in a window just so I can show you guys. And you'll see that the inventory button down there and the hit button to the bottom right are in the controller scheme of a Steam Deck. Now I'm going to show you how you can add this game to your Steam library so you can play it in game mode. So back on the desktop, we're going to open up Steam and we're going to go to our library. And if we hit games up here, we're going to click on add a non-Steam game to my library. Now here you can search and scroll down and we'll see Prism Launcher right here. So I already have it, but you're just going to click on it and then click add selected programs. Now I'm going to go over to game mode and show you how it works. All right, so I'm in game mode on my Steam Deck and I'm in the library. So now if I head over to non-Steam games up here, we'll see what I added, which is the Prism Launcher. And now if we select it, it'll appear like any other game and we just hit play and get into it. You'll see that the launcher opens up and we can click on the instance that we like and just hit launch. Now keep in mind that performance may vary and I'm currently screen recording, so frames might be a little bit lower. But if you want to add some optimization mods and that sort of thing, you can head over to the edit instance and look through mods there. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.